Now, my little story. I'm just going to make it brief. I'm not going to go. I can tell you. If you saw one of my LinkedIn posts, I have, I have, I have like hundreds. I think I counted 80 some odd plus career jobs over my lifetime. Um, and one of them I got, and it's Thanksgiving, right? So I got my UPS cup. I still had this. So this little UPS cup. I drink out of this on the weekends. And the reason why I drink out of this one on the weekends, besides it has a lot of coffee in it, and it's just, I get to relax and enjoy my coffee. Years ago, I had a company. Started one of my first companies while I was a government employee, side thing. Spent a lot of money way before all this stuff happens here, right? This was like 1999, in fact, is when I started the company. So the company's like 20 years old right now. It's still here. still exists. It just doesn't do anything. I'm going to bring it back. It's coming. It's one of the things I'm bringing up. This whole thing is helping me get there, I'm trying to figure out how everything works now. Because when I did it, I had email marketing, I had all that. I had I had at least 30,000 views to 60,000 views a month, depending on the month of what was going on, on what I was creating. And it was totally legit, and it wasn't like it is today, where you see crud up there. So it was doing really good. And then 9-11 hit. You know, it was still working. And then no one wanted to do anything outside. No one wanted to go out and do anything, right? Um, but I had to quit my job because I was I was getting so far in debt. Uh, I don't know if I'd ever pass the uh, the financial background check. Look at you. You owe like $60,000 in advertising money. I know. Um, back then it was very expensive. Now they're cheap. People are amazed. You'd be amazed how cheap it is to get uh, advertising. So the reason why I drink out of this, because I hit really rough. I had to go get a side job to pay bills, right? To pay my mortgage on my house. Cause I almost had to declare bankruptcy. And, um, during the holidays, and this is where this one really comes in. I had to crawl in the belly of the aircraft and do the UPS stuff. So UPS at the time was the only thing. There was no Amazon, right? Amazon really, well, I guess there was Amazon, Amazon books. A little bit because I remember I used to have those things on my website and it would make some, a couple bucks selling books. And uh, I crawled around the belly airplane during Thanksgiving and the holidays. And you know, I was that probably the thinnest I was <laughs> during that time because I wasn't eating much. I maybe had a half a sandwich a day, it was really tight. Um, so this reminds me of those times. It's amazing when you don't have money, you're nice and thin. When you have money, you get fat, you become the the, the bubbly Buddha, right? The jolly Buddha. Um, but anyway, reminds you of stuff when you, when you, when you had tough times and where you are now and that you don't want to go back to those, right? Or you want to progress. What made me drive to get that hunger to go do stuff? A little bit of that crawling in the barrel airplane while I'm watching these lobster crates getting loaded in for Thanksgiving holiday. Right. And they did call me back to come back and work with them because I worked my putt off and, and I and I'm, I don't cause trouble. Um, but I wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> it was a good experience. I learned a lot about logistics. I tell you, you have no idea what goes on in the UPS, the Amazon world. until you crawl on the belly in an airplane from I think it was like nine o'clock to two o'clock in the morning every night. And uh, loading up all the stuff for the next day airs, ship out around the country and everything. It's a lot to learn. But anyway, it just reminds me of where I was, what happened, and that, you know, I want to progress from there. So slowly but surely over the years, since that was like, I want to say 2004, 2005. So it was almost 15 years ago. It took me 15 years to. Start building back my money up and uh, working different jobs, find my way. And uh, I think now it's time to get back and do it. So we'll see what happens. Cheers to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving because I was down there working in the belly aircraft around Thanksgiving, Christmas, holidays, shipping stuff all around the world. And uh, cheers to you. Enjoy the holidays coming up. Hope you have some fun with family and friends. I hope you get new ideas to say, Hey, you know, if my company goes back, goes under and I get laid off. What are you going to do? Right. 
Do you have enough self-sufficiency to go on and have enough to promote and do what you need to do? Build your skill sets up. It's all good stuff, man. Because you can always come back and get another job. There's there's jobs out there for everybody, even in a tough time. Um, you just need to make it through the real tough time and you'll get there. But anyway, my little story, my little cup reminds me of my the tough times I had in the past. And uh, we're going to from there. So with that, hey, I want to give you all a thumbs up. You're all awesome for watching the show, sharing, you know, giving thumbs up, right? And then liking the little bell. I'm going to put a bunch of clips out today. And I want to say happy scrumming to everybody. And keep on trying, you know. Um, even in the tough times, you'll make it through. Because I did. I'm back from where it was. It took a while, but slow and steady to get to where you are, right? And, uh, you know, happy holidays for those that are celebrating them. And happy upcoming Thanksgiving. Hope you do some fun things with your family and friends. Take care. Bye. We're going to do live very soon. One, two, three, we're live. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. I'm Greg Master, as your coach and Scrum Master here on 5 a.m. Master Scrum. This is our episode 124. And uh, we talk about Agile Scrum in a practical and tactical way. And to get you home to your family and friends to do some fun things. I got a lot of stuff to do this weekend. It is Saturday, about 6.13, so we're a little bit later than normal. I was looking. I figured Saturday, browse around LinkedIn, see what's going on. Watch a little video of these little kids. Um, one, kid, one little brother or somebody was making breakfast or lunch for their, their brother. And they were doing the walk thing. And they... The little tiny brother, no thumbs up. I was just laughing. I got a kick out of that. So that's the international sound. This is good. <laughs> and they all know to do it on the video, which I thought was <laughs> hilarious.